Hi guys, thanks again for visiting us at RS Aquaculture. So as you might already know that sampling is a great part of uh, what we do in aquaculture because it determines the feeding rate, growth rate, etc. So in this video, I'll be showing you how can we use a trap net to sort of catch the shrimps that we need to so that we can perform sampling in a safe and efficient manner. <laughs> So hi guys, welcome back. So this is actually how a trap net looks like. It works a little bit like an umbrella in which when you pull the strings in the center, it will sort of uh, come up. And you know, to hold it in place, you typically uh, have to latch it onto the side. But for a trap net, because this is an old net that we've been using in our farm, I'll just be using one of our old stainless steel drill bits that have already broken off as a means to make it stay in place as you look it over here. So when the all when the trap net is being set up, it looks something like this uh, when it's all blown up, and you know you can easily just remove the drill bit and the collapse it for storage easily. So how does one of these net works? So basically, you have to put them in the water and shrimps, right? Being shrimps, they will try to go into the trap net via these holes, and this is where they get traps inside the net, and you have to make sure that. At the bottom of the trap nets and depending on the design and you can typically sh release the shrimps from the bottom hole so before you use the trap nets you know what's a good practice is to make sure that escaping outlet is being tied up with a knot and make sure that you do not tie a dead knot on it because you have to open it after you got the shrimps so we usually tie something that's simple and we place it into the tanks uh, with this and for our case here I will not be putting on any feed in the trap net because we are actually at very high intensity so after putting in the trap nets for a short period of time we get quite a lot of shrimps and for our plans here because our intensities are quite high we only plan to put the nets in for about five minutes without any feed uh, with lower stocking density you probably have to put some feed and I like to make sure that our trap net is being secured onto the side so that we do, we do not lose the net somewhere inside the tank and it's easily retrievable with the strings here. So while waiting, I'll, I'll bring you a tour of the current setup. Uh, we are actually at DOC 60 plus and we have to put a net over the tanks to ensure that the shrimps do not climb out. So as you can see over here, we have shrimps that jump out the night before and they have already turned white. So it's important that you keep a net all over the tanks to prevent the jumping. Uh, these off oxygen levels are alright. We are about 7.2 ppm and we are just before feeding. Uh, but we are doing the sampling uh, before we feed so that we can get a more accurate picture of the current feeding rate. So here I'm just about to remove the net just after 5 minutes. And as you can see, uh, there are already quite a lot of shrimps uh, jumping and to be exact we have about 40 plus shrimps over here uh, only about a short five minutes and what we do is then to open up the bottom section that we previously tied up uh, so this is why i say you know do not tie it up so that make sure they can open it after the sampling session um, and we are opening it now so it's you know, despite not tying it very tight, it still takes us a bit of time. You know, it's important during the sampling process to be quick and efficient so that, you know, you don't have a lot of dead shrimps that are stressed out over that process. So this is only after five minutes of uh, uh, putting the trap net inside the system and we weigh the total amount of uh, shrimps minus the bucket and we slowly put it back into the tank. So while putting it back uh, individually, we typically will count them so that we know the total amount of shrimps and we can use it to divide the total weight and which gives us the average amount of size of each shrimps All right so this is just a you know a close up of how does a shrimp behave when they get back into the tank you know hopefully this process needs to be quick and efficient to minimize the stress that are faced by the shrimps so hopefully i hope you enjoy and i hope to see you again at ras aquaculture <laughs>